Hey there, welcome to Procon Grey. As my four or five subscribers probably know, I recently bought a pretty cool TV. The Samsung, the frame, the 65 inch. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, it's a pretty cool TV and successfully fooled a bunch of my friends into thinking that it was an actual wall hanging piece of art and not a television. So when you have time, do check out the, uh, the video. The link is in the description below. So what I needed now is a great audio system to complement the fantastic visual experience that the TV was giving me. Modern TVs, as great as they are in terms of visuals, give you a mediocre at best audio experience. And that's largely because they're built so, so thin. They can't really house your bulky speakers required to reproduce bass frequencies. So most modern TVs, average speakers. Speaking of bass heavy, about four years ago, I came across this YouTube video on an extraordinary speaker. It was called the DVLA Phantom. In fact, let me link that video up here. So this is a video from Unbox Therapy. They unboxed the DVLA Phantom and it just looks incredible. This speaker was nothing like I've ever seen. It was also at a price that I'd never heard of before. I think it's about $4,000 or 3.3 lakhs uh, Indian rupees. Crazy expensive. However, I recently found out that uh, the DVLA Phantom has a younger brother, the DVLA Phantom Reactor. Now this is a smaller and dare I say cheaper version of that crazy expensive DVLA Phantom. So maybe it's worthwhile taking a look. A quick side note. DVLA has renamed the Phantom Reactor as the Reactor 2. I don't care much for that name, so I'm going to continue calling it the Phantom Reactor in the rest of this video, but bear in mind they're both the same device. Now, the, the Phantom Reactor. This is a small, sleek and arguably very sexy looking speaker. And from what I can tell, all the reviews have been very positive. But I still need to check this out for myself because the price that I was getting the speaker at was about 1.6 lakhs or uh, equivalent to about $2,000, which is still crazy expensive. Way more than what I spent on the television. So I had to really make sure I was doing the right thing here. Obviously, I want to check out the speaker first before considering spending such a crazy amount of money on it. And uh, I searched for dealers in the neighborhood. I came across The Den, which is a Bombay-based uh, audiophile store. The owner was kind enough to let me visit his store and check out the speaker. Constructionally, this is an unusual speaker, just like its, its bigger brother. It has one center-mounted full-range tweeter, and on either side are these 4.7-inch force-canceling bass drivers. Overall, I think the Phantom Reactor is about 6.5 inches tall, about 6 inches wide, and maybe about a little over eight inches long. And it weighs about 4.3 kilos. But having said that, it feels a lot heavier. So when you lift up the, the Phantom Reactor, it feels extremely dense, extremely heavy, luxurious feeling. And heavy in the audio world is usually a good thing. So I connected my phone via Bluetooth to the DVLA reactor and listened to some music. Okay. It didn't exactly blow my mind here. And, and bear with me. It, it was an amazing audio experience. It was the, the audio coming from it was extremely crisp and clear. Now, it is a mono speaker. And here's the interesting bit. Um, because of the way it's constructed, it's a mono speaker. So if you want stereo, you have to buy a second DVLA Phantom reactor and pair them, which is another 1.6 lakhs. I wasn't going to consider that, right? I was, I was comparing this in mono. And while the sound was extremely clear, and the bass was also very crisp, and there was a good amount of low-end grunt, it didn't have that, that chest-thumping feel that I wanted. And I'm a bass head. I like this loud bass that really vibrates your chest. This couldn't do it. Now, to be fair, this speaker was far better than it had any right to be. It, it was much better than any other portable speaker that I've come across. Uh, light years ahead of anything else in, in that category. 
But when you compare it to, say, your larger, bulkier sound bar subwoofer solutions, there it kind of falls short, especially in the bass department. I guess it's obvious when you think about it because a 4.7 inch subwoofer can't really compete with a 10 or 12 inch subwoofer because bass is all about how much energy you impact into the environment, like how, how, how much air you can move. While no doubt extremely powerful amplifiers and extremely powerful bass drivers, it still couldn't quite move enough air to compete with a good subwoofer system. So for me, this was a bit of a disappointment because I really wanted to like the speaker. In, in a lot of ways, it's fantastic, but just in the aspect of pure animalistic bass, it does fall a bit short. I don't know, maybe one day I will save up for its bigger brother, the DPLA Phantom. Uh, no, wait, who am I kidding? That's, that's 3.3 lakhs and still for a mono speaker. It's a fun dream to have, but I don't know about that. Unfortunately, this video ends with me unsuccessfully finding a speaker to complement my Samsung TV. However, join me in my next video where I continue my quest for premium audio and hopefully make a decision. So I'll see you in that one then. On that note, Procon Grey, signing out.